Today from Boat on Course, you'll learn all about required and optional boating education. Whether you're new to boating or brushing up on skills, you've come to the right spot. We encourage you to watch each episode of Boat on Course and test your knowledge by completing the accompanying quiz. Don't worry, we won't know your personal score. Our series covers a variety of topics, including fueling a boat, knowing the navigation rules, and what essential safety gear you'll need. Feel free to watch the videos as many times as you like. When you're ready to boat, whether you purchased a boat, joined a boat club, or are borrowing a vessel, please know that most states require that you complete a certified boating safety course before operating a powerboat or a paddlecraft with a trolling motor. Check your state-specific boating laws before operating any powered vessel, even including a personal watercraft, also called a PWC. If your state requires you to obtain a boating safety certificate, there are online providers who meet the state requirements. Upon successful completion of a course, a boating safety card is issued, and you'll need to keep this with you when you're operating a powerboat. There are several official course providers, including Boat Ed, Boater Exam, and Boat US. When you're researching your state requirements, you may see that the state requires a proctored exam. This means the boater needs to join a class and take the test in front of an official. To determine your state requirements, the U.S. Coast Guard maintains a state list at uscgboating.org. The U.S. Coast Guard reports that just over three-fourths of deaths occurred on boats where the operator had no boating safety instruction. With that said, a skilled and confident boater is a safer boater. Now that you're on your way to obtain your boating safety certificate, what are other steps you can take towards becoming a skilled and confident boater? You've likely heard the saying, practice makes perfect. Well, maybe not perfect, but practicing boat maneuvers certainly increases confidence and skill. Although most states require that you obtain a boating safety certificate, on-water skills training is optional. Just like any sport we participate in, the more confident we are, the more we enjoy the activity. Power boat training begins by learning and practicing the maneuvers at idle speed. The close quarters docking maneuvers are usually the most challenging for new boaters. No two boating days are the same, and practicing docking in different weather conditions where wind and current are variable will improve your boat control skills. Once a new boater has confidence in close quarters, an instructor will move the training to an open water location and practice maneuvers on plane. The National Safe Boating Council partners with the U.S. Coast Guard and a network of certified instructors to offer on-water skills training. There are other resources as well, whether you hire a licensed captain, an NSBC certified instructor, or participate in training at your local boat club. Hands-on training can give you the skills to become a lifelong boater. Remember, before you operate any powered vessel, check with the state boating laws to make sure you have received the required boating education. The U.S. Coast Guard Auxiliary is also a source for boating safety education. Local flotillas offer a variety of safety classes, including basic introductory boating courses and safety courses, navigation, sailing, and personal watercraft safety, among others. And look into additional on-water skills training to gain confidence on the water. <laughs>